Welcome to this video on using Excel as your calculator. So instead of using a calculator, if you don't have one, or if like me, you sometimes remove the calculator apps from your mobile devices to save space or clean them up, then you can use Microsoft Excel to help you do some nice quick maths. And that's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to have a quick look. And this is a really great back to basics video to help you remember or to help you get comfortable with those basic formulas in Excel, which then build up to become much more complex functions when you're doing, when you're working with a lot of data and you're wanting to pull out information. So this will really help you, especially if you're just getting started with Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to go through four really quick examples just to show you and get you comfortable with the way you would create them and what you would do. So you can see on the screen, I'm going to do addition, I'm going to do a subtract, a multiply, which I'm not even spelled right, and a divide. So let's get started with the add. So I want to click into the cell where I want that information to appear. And then I'm going to write my quick formula in there to do an addition. And when I'm doing any formula or function in Excel, I always need to start with equals because that tells Excel that I want to do, I'm going to put some information in, I want some information back, I'm going to do a function or a formula. And very simply, I'm just going to type in numbers, I'm going to put a plus sign in there, and I'm going to type in some more. So let's do 40 plus 60, and then I'm just going to press the enter key, and that's given me 100. And if I go back onto that cell, I've just used my arrow key to move myself back up. You can see on that function bar there, you can see equals 40 plus 60. Super easy, super quick to do, and you can just type that in. Let's have a look at subtract then. Very similar. I'm going to start with my equals. This time I'm going to put 40 and then I'm going to do the minus sign. So I'm going to do the minus sign. Now make sure it's the one in the middle. It's not the underscore that's further down, which if I just remove that and put it in there, you'll see it's not that one. It's definitely that one. That's your subtract. So let's minus 20 or subtract 20. Press enter and you can see I've got 20 there. And in my function bar, my formula bar, it's showing me nicely. Let's move down and do the multiply again. We're going to do an equals. Let's do 40. And then I'm going to do times, which is the little asterisk. It may be in different places on your keyboard. On my keyboard, it's on the 8. Just have a look around and see it. And you'll see it looks like that. And then I'm going to times that by 7. Press enter and you can see I've got 280 there. I'll move back onto it so you can see exactly what that looks like. That's your multiplication. And then finally, let's just do divide. Again, it's going to be an equals. And let's divide 70. Divided by, and you can see it's the slash. Again, that might be in different places on your keyboard. So have a look at the actual special character that comes up. And let's divide that by four and press enter. And it's given me a figure back. Now, I've obviously not formatted these figures in any way, shape or form. I can change the size of them, the color. I can go in and change them to numbers. I can align them in different places. But this is just giving me really quick formulas in order to just get some quick figures if I'm missing a calculator. So think about the things that you might do on a calculator. You can always use the percentage sign as well if you want to get a percentage. That works really nicely as well. And like I said, you can use these. You'll see these and you will use these going forward when you're creating more complex formula and functions as well. But it is really nice. Sometimes I just get a bit stuck and my brain just will not work. Or it's one of those complex ones that I just want a quick answer. I've got Excel open. I've not got a calculator in front of me. I've not got my phone in front of me. I've not got an app. And just want to just get a quick figure. It's a nice, easy one to have a play around with. And just remember, if you come unstuck and you need that calculator, Excel might be exactly what you need. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Watch some more of the videos. You'll see them pop up. If they're not up there already, they'll be popping up shortly. And don't forget to let us know what you'd like us to record next.